I'm going to jump in. I'm going to go down beside you. And we're going to talk about our evolution real quick just over the last three months and kind of go back and forth between these things. And Super quick? Yeah, super quick, I promise. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning okay. and I have to get up at 7. All right, so hang on. Let me turn around. All right. So I am Mr. Andrea Johns, and I am the guy that's typically behind the camera. And uh, I thought I wanted to take a second to, to really kind of reflect um, and so you get a sense of judgment where we have, because we've worked so hard at getting ready at just even trying to do this at this kind of level. Um, what, four months ago, three, four months ago, uh, I was the guy, if somebody needed to take a picture, I said, who knows how to take a picture? Who knows how to take a picture? Who knows how to do that? I'd, videoing, what, we could good at it, and you were better at it than me iPhone. on the phone, on the phone or whatever. Um, but then I kept you know, really paying attention and really thinking about what she has to offer because our kids are getting older and it's just a matter of just a few more years and they're and they're finished with this and i'm like she's had gosh you know a lot of experience doing this four of our five kids have all gone through the homeschool process and you know and i was thinking about you know what i do for work i i work in a hotel and you know i've been doing that for like 25 years and i thought about maybe at some point maybe turning in some training videos you know teaching what i knew and then it, it immediately clicked i said we had to do this and i think when we first started out doing this and, um, you know, what I remember saying very distinctly is saying, you know what, if we can make some money doing this, fine. At the end of the day, if all we can do is help people, then it's worth every effort. Um, part of this for me especially is this has turned into a new passion for me. I've always been a creative type person. I've been a musician my whole life. At some point, we'll introduce you to kind of the, the environment downstairs where I have my own little home recording studio. You know, you've got a chance to hear the the theme, or at least one of the theme songs. I plan to do a lot, so who knows when you're watching this. Um, but that's something I love doing, and my son Joshua loves playing, my older son Eric loves playing, and, and Hannah just got a ukulele, so who knows what's going on there. But but at the end of the day, we, we kind of wanted to share this with you. I mean, we have gone from making some really bad videos to just now, probably honestly, since last night. I mean, we're episode number four, I think, or four or five in this somewhere, and and I have to tell you, it's I, we're pleased with ourselves. <laughs> I, I don't know if you are, but we are so far. But there's room to grow and all that stuff. But you know, you know, you'll watch a lot of these YouTube videos. Oh, I just go out and spend sixty dollars on lights and buy a camera. Uh, I'm sorry, no, no, not if you're really going to take it seriously. I mean, you don't have to spend a million dollars, and because we don't have a million dollars, uh, maybe we won't make a million dollars. Help us out, like and subscribe. Uh, in all seriousness, though, um, you, you, to, to get it requires time more than anything else. Learning, learning, learning. I, I'd never even used Final Cut Pro until a couple of months ago, and I spent one day so mad at that application because I was trying to make it do something I thought it should do it was never supposed to do, and then I learned it and said, oh gosh, that's kind of simple, isn't it? But, but it's a growing, growing thing, and so I'll, say, I'll end all this to say this. We bought one thing. There's been two, there have been three things that have been really instrumental in our ability to at least get the quality we're getting now. And we're going to shoot to get so much more. We're in our infancy of that. Ultimately, a really strong, solid light. We've got an Aperture 120D, does a fantastic job. We're doing this in our bedroom. This area right here is a dormer window area. The ceiling is like six and a half to seven feet. It's probably, what, about seven feet Wide this way at the most, you know, which is why we can only do one side over here. And then we've got the window going out over the house. And so that's where we're doing this at. Uh, my wife doesn't necessarily like looking at this in the bedroom, but we're having fun. And so we, I, we truly do hope you guys enjoy this. I mean, I, I'm having the time of my life. I'm, I'm, I'm getting involved in a creative way that I haven't since a very long time, you know, as a musician and things like that. So I'm finding a new passion borderline obsession and uh, so all I can do is help showcase how amazing she is and all the knowledge that she has to share I can promise you she's done a heck of a job with our kids I, I'm I can't even begin to stress that to you you talk to anybody knows our kids across the board academically they are all solid as a rock 
okay? But you know what's most important? Here's what's most important to us. Now, you can have your own thing, and you don't have to agree with us, but here's what's most important to us. The kids love the Lord. That's number one to us. Choose your path. That's our path, okay? Kids love the Lord. That's, that's the most important. All of our kids love the Lord. Number two, they're good people. At the end of the day, we've raised good, solid human beings, and we just hope we don't mess it up from here because we've done it. She's done a really good job at that. And I think that's important because I think for us, one of the main reasons we decided to get into this homeschool, and there were many, and, and she'll, we'll talk about these more and more and more. But at the end of the day, honestly, at least for me, I wanted my kids to have the, the, the lifestyle that I grew up in. And we all know the world is not that today. I'm 55 years old today. We got started late. I got started late. Um, at least the second round because we got all the way from 35 down to 14 year old twins. Um, but, you know, that, that was powerful for me. You know, I, I wanted to be able to live a good balanced life. And, and so, and sadly, there are many families out there that just can't afford to do that. You know, mom and dad both have to work full time. You know, we get it. We get it. We just wanted to see what we could do because we want our kids to make a difference in this world. You know, I don't wish my kids to become doctors and lawyers and make tons of money. I mean, if they want to do that, fine. If all my kids wanted to grow up and just did nothing but serve people the rest of their life, I can't begin to tell you how proud that would make me, regardless of any money they ever made, because that's making a difference in someone else's life. And if we as parents can prepare our children to be able to get to a point where they can make every day of their life at least some small measure of a positive difference, then we can all say, happy homeschooling.